So last time on the Space Between, we left Fort Lauderdale, cleared customs at West End, stayed the night at Great Sale, and then on into Treasure. It has been a whirlwind couple of days of uh, sun and drinking. So I didn't do a lot of filming, but today I'm so very excited to say that we are going to take the boat and we swim with the sea turtles with some friends and um, I'm really looking forward to it and hopefully get some good footage. Well, Fiddle Cay is a small deserted island just off Green Turtle where 364 days of the year it's empty but one day of the year it's a small city. Point four. So of course it's pouring rain. Where's that rain coming from? Into Fiddle K. Yeah, Aiden out on the dinghy scooping things out. Alright, so finally quit raining. And uh, struggling. Scott and Aiden are in the dinghy checking things out. We are still. Alright, the cluster ah! show has begun. We had a hell of a time getting in here. Now we got all sorts of people jockeying around. Scott's trying to help them turn around. It's been, these people were nice and helped us, but it is crazy. And it hasn't even begun. It's what, 3.50 the day before. This is a beautiful little anchorage just off Fiddle Key where we back the boats right up to the sandbar. Tomorrow this will all be jammed down. The night before is way more laid back and a lot more relaxed. Just trying to pull it over the boat. Probably over top of our boat too. That thing is ridiculous. That thing is a monster. Apparently that's what Cindy has. That's what Cindy has too? Well, let the festivities begin. It is 7.42 in the morning and we've been up since six something because we drug a hundred times before bed, but then after bed, the morning's uh, Leopard 39 power boat drug. So we ended up just rafting up to each other so we didn't have to worry about hitting each other. And now, um, yeah, so we're tired, but the party will go on. Three, two, two one, fire! fire. So the quiet before the chaos, most of these people were the ones that came in last night and got situated before the madness. This is a time lapse taking over about three hours.
1990. I graduated in 96, so uh, wait, 70, 13. I was 13 when I met Mark. <laughs> Not to age me or anything. <laughs> right, right, right. Not so you've known him almost as long as you've been drinking over here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. About that's the same right. time. That's right. Oh my goodness, I gotta get in the light. If anybody wants a cheeseburger, you might have to wait in a four and a half hour line for a, um, I'm sure, a high quality burger or a equally high quality rum punch. We'll stick to our burgers and beer we have on the boat. Maybe you stepped on it and broke it. guy right here. We meet him on the beach. We have a little fun with him. He's a little toasty at that point. But about, I don't know, a couple hours later, he mystically shows up on the boat next door to us. Um, he's well done at this point. But he was having a good time, laughing, real easy going fella. Um, goes to get back in the water, falls off the back of their boat, and slices his calf from here to here, through the muscle, where I'm looking at bone. He's bleeding everywhere, all over these people's beautiful boat. So I grab the med kit, hop over the rail, go over there, grab a, a guy that was there to help me, push it all together, then I start, I open it up, clean it out, push it back together. Um, I tried gluing it at a couple spots, that didn't work tried some steri strips um, that was holding it together a little longer and about that time um, the EMTs show up and the guy goes oh man you did a great guy job this guy could have bled out nah he wouldn't have bled out but um, so he puts a compression bandage on it and you know we get on the horn and we've got a boat to take him back to Green Turtle one of buddies of ours that actually lives on Green Turtle and guess who shows up the anchor Gestapo. Same guy that pulls our anchor up earlier in the day and just throws it and lets my boat, that five other boats are already attached to, start drifting out. Well, he shows up and he starts yelling at this guy and he picks the guy up, throws him back in the water after we just spent the last 30, 45 minutes fixing him up and tells him that he's going to be arrested, which I don't think this guy had the authority to ar arrest a mouse, much less anything else. But just absolutely made me mad that me, and then the EMT that I turned around and looked at, just was shaking his head, because apparently he knew him, and it just absolutely blew me away. It's people like him that are going to ruin this for everybody. Because besides this guy, I didn't know of any other you know problems. We had so many people at this event. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say between three and four thousand people, and everybody was having a great time, as you can see. Nobody got in any fights. There was no issues. I mean, the cops sat around being bored. But anyway, enough of my rant. This guy really got under my skin. Gets a little bit of power and just totally abuses it. Don't be that guy. So as quickly as they came in. They went out. It's like somebody pulled the drain on a bathtub. Except for those that overindulged and ran around getting out. I was happy we were staying until high tide the next day. The next day I'm falling. My soul hits the 
ground. One day we're talking, just like friends hanging out. The next day I'm stalking her Facebook account. I <laughs> we should totally go on that. Okay, now we got we got scale bomb. We scale bomb for all you fuckers, eh? Hey, 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 hey. Scale bomb. Cheers. My gosh, scale bomb. Awesome. Everybody at the same time say scale bomb. Scale bomb. Scale bomb. <laughs> and the aftermath. Actually, that looked worse this morning. to do dishes when I'm drinking. <laughs> oh, and the scale bombs. Cheeseburger in paradise knocked off the bucket list. It was time to head south to Little Harbor so that we can make the big jump over to Blue Hole. Join us next week as we head over to the berries, jump off some cliffs in the Blue Hole, and hang around Stirrup Key for a little while. Man, things have changed there.